Hello folks, my eBay purchase finally arrived. Just got it out of the mailbox like two minutes ago. Have not even not even opened it up yet, so I'm gonna go ahead. I I now have just a stupid little multi tool on my keychain that I carry around with me all the time. Alright, so this is this is a little more flimsy packaging than I was expecting, but it got here okay, and it doesn't appear to be in too bad shape. So here's hoping the stuff inside isn't destroyed. So fuck it, just gonna slice, and dice until I get what I want. I am completely destroying this packaging, but. Who gives a damn? Because I think like Christmas, but poorly wrapped. Come on. It's gotta be. Who wrapped this thing? This is terrible. Okay. I mean, I was gonna say maybe the people at the post office did it, but no, I've seen them do that, and it's better than this. Okay, so we finally cracked into it enough to sort of see what the containers are and oh I have it upside down so oh well ta-da a three pack of Orlick Golden Sliced paid thirty dollars for all three of these never tried it and what the hell I'm going to crack one open right now just because I can and it says selling them for the collectible packaging on the listing on eBay but that's not why I bought it um these are 100 gram tins of Orlick of an unknown vintage my guess would be three years maybe but I'll find that out a little later and okay so close the knife be smart like that all right so here we have one two three tins of Orlick and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of them, but I'm going to open one up and see how I like it. Just initial reaction. All of them are still sealed, at least in theory. They should be. There's no reason why they shouldn't be. Um, the tins are fairly large. I still have one. Still have a 100 gram of plum cake for like a year and a half ago that I still haven't gotten through. So here we go. And I've heard that, or I observed at least, that twisting is better than just prying. Ah, there we go. And close the knife. Come on. And come on. Mm, I'm not a shouldn't be this difficult. Come on. Ah, there we go. Ah, wow. Okay, so it's open now and I know there's some sort of debacle going on if it's does it have perique in it? And Honestly, I don't smell any, if there is. I just smell... It's very similar to the Dunhill I just opened, but... Not quite. It's not quite as, like, super sweet as the other one. Maybe a little... It smells just like tobacco, then... A little...
I don't know, that's a weird smell. I'm not sure if it's good or not. It's, well, yeah, it's good. It just smells different. All right, so, hang on a second. That was neighbors asking if I had a baseball mitt. No, not a very sport type person. Okay, so here's the smoke by all shrewd judges. It looks. This is not exactly a newer tent because I've seen interiors of newer tents. And holy mother of Balzac, that's a lot of. I mean. Holy crap! It's just a, a, a like a fist-sized lump, and oh, that is still good and moist. Okay, now I know what it smells like. I was trying to figure out. I've smelled that before somewhere, but that is like the the sweet I got with the other one, but. It smells like a barn filled with hay. It's really very good smell. Um, I would try to take this out of the container, but I'm not really sure how to do that. You know what? I'm just going to take the whole paper thing out and... Okay, there we go. And there's... No mold or anything, so that's good. Yeah, that. That's just. Okay. Then, I don't see any, like, bloom or anything, but I wouldn't really expect to. Okay, so I have the paper thing out, and there it is. So that's what it looks like on the inside of a tin of 100 grams of Orlick. So. I'm not really even sure how to approach this thing. I guess it's just a bunch of flakes folded together. But yeah, this smells so good. It smells so good. And I'm going to try this and get back to you in a bit. All right. All right, I'm back from trying my Orlick for the first time and tried it in my, of course, my tasting cob. Um, and the initial reactions are actually surprising to me. I just recently tried Dunhill Flake for the first time, and honestly, I'm going to have to go with Orlick on this one. It, for some reason, just is better to me than the Dunhill was. Uh, Flavor-wise, the Virginia was very distinctly Virginia, very uh, citrusy, sweet kind of a taste, very similar in that respect to the Dunhill. But where it differs is the Dunhill is just that basic Virginia sweet. The Orlick has a sort of wheat grain cereal kind of taste that also goes along with it. And for some hand, for me, that makes it taste just that little bit better than the straight up Virginia Dunhill. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say BS to there being Perique in that. Because I know a Perique tastes like I haven't been smoking for all that long, but I know Perique when I taste it, and there just isn't any of that. Um, I would I would have to go with the original packaging, say it's Virgi Virginia, and Burley tobaccos because it has that's it has just a little bit of that kind of a little bit of a nutty kind of taste, but not really. Um, and oh, and even though you may look like you're getting a flake that's like that long, when you eventually do like rub it out. It does turn into a very, very fine ribbon that would be comparable to, say, Peterson's Irish Irish whiskey. Very, very fine ribbons. And lights good, stays lit, 
does burn a little bit hot, so do with that what you will. So, or like golden sliced. I'm going to have to go with a thumbs up on this one. Very good stuff, and I'm looking forward to smoking the rest of that over the summer. Well, not all of it, obviously, because it's so much of it. But, yep, yeah, and I'll let you guys know if I come up with any contest ideas or if any of you want to get a hold of some of that, because I have some to spare. Message me. And there really will probably be a contest on that. So, I'll catch you guys later, and have a nice day.